yeah, you know, a lot of killing is going to be done. Let me read that scripture one more time. And it says, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 22. And it says, let the multitude perish then, which is born in vain. And let my grape be kept and my plant. For with great labor have I made it pure, uh, perfect. But yeah, so a lot of people are going to, you know, have to die off. Because that's part of their judgment. That's the reason you see the wicked get away with so much. Is the Lord is basically allowing them to stack up that tab, you know. You know, so when he does judge them, you know, all the excuses go out the window. You know, he's giving them a uh, uh, plenteous amount of time to repent and come back to him. Speaking of the Israelites, you know, but the Lord knows who's going to repent, who's not going to repent. But, you know, everybody's story has to be written, you know. Everybody's story has to play out. Like I keep saying, these are exciting times to be living in. And I hope I, I hope I'm a part of the number that gets out of here because you know I'm fed up with this place. I'm fed up with Eve. I'm fed up with Esau. I'm fed up with the she devil. And that's why I'm out here. I'm trying to, to the best of my ability, work out my own salvation with fear and trembling, you know. I'm trying to stop my phone from dying on me. Yeah, I'm almost done. This is uh Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1, and it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, uh, the Bible, for they are faithful and true. Uh, fear not, fear not the imaginations against thee. Lest not uh, the credulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You know, the Lord talks about when he comes back, shall he, shall he find faith on the earth? You know, the Lord wants you to have faith. It's a righteous thing to have faith, you know. I mean, we're all sinners. We're all corrupt. We're all wicked. But, you know, the scriptures say, let not your sins and iniquities, you know, you know, hold you down. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, I'm trying to get the hell out of here, you know. So, I'm tired of working these nine to five jobs that don't pay you shit. You know, we're last hire, first fire. You know, anybody can just come along and accuse us of stuff we're not doing. And it seems like everybody else just believes it. You know, we'll fly, we'll fly you through the process of getting, you know, fired, uh, uh, arrested, or even killed. You know, this place is hell for the Israelite, man. But you know something? When uh, Yahweh Bashim Shai removes these curses and he turns the tides again, he, he, uh, he takes away our captivity. The Israelite man is under Yahweh Bashim Shai. We're really going to have it the best in the kingdom of heaven. That's why it's called a kingdom. It means a king's dominion. You know, we're going to live it up in paradise. That's why I hope you're part of the, uh, the hopeful elect. You know, because there's really nothing, there's really nothing left here in Babylon. I mean, everything's played out. Everybody's in a rude, overweight, lazy. But yeah, this, this place is finished. That's why I'm hoping to be one of those prophets that the Lord, you know, accepts. I pretty much hit everything that I was going to bring out. Just going over my notes. But yeah, that was pretty much the end of the lesson. But like I said, we're, we're coming to a very, very dark winter. A lot of people don't know America's gonna be destroyed by nuclear fire, so. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, you do. You know, the best thing you can do if you're an Israelite is, you know, just go and repent of your sins and come back to the Heavenly Father so that, you know, Yahweh Roth is you can skip out on, you know, that judgment that the Lord has for this place. Um, we really don't have that much longer, you know. 
all hell is about to break loose. So, you know, just repent. Come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of your ability. And that's really all you can do. So, it's not every brother's, everybody's lot to be a prophet. But, you know, if you can do something for this ministry to contribute, to get on the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh good side, then, you know, it'll put you in a much better case. So, but yeah, my phone's about to die, so I'm going to go ahead and close out. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory. Uh, never honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone because they were well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.